welcome to another of our sessions on topics for wire rope users. This time we're covering off fibre cord rope versus steel wire cord rope. Uh, one of our application specialists, Owen Ketteringham, is with us here today. Hi, Owen. Hi, Pete. And he's going to cover the difference between fibre core and steel core rope. A quick introduction to Owen. Owen uh, has 30 odd years of experience in the uh, wire rope industry. Uh, he's based out of our Doncaster head office and covers uh, three of our sectors, crane industrial, oil and gas and uh, the fishing sector. So uh, the first question really for you Owen is um, what's the sort of advantages of a fibre cord rope? Well a fibre cord rope was, was probably one of the, the original ropes being, uh, being used and, and typically um, many years back there used to be just single layer spooling drums as you can see here where we've got a rope just spooling across a drum um, and doesn't come back onto it onto itself at all so it's just spooling onto there. So fibre core rope is, is nice and flexible, um, nice and light as well, so that's the sort of advantages of, uh, of using these uh, types of ropes um, on systems. Uh, is there any other sort of, I mean, why did fibre, uh, why was fibre used originally? Well fibre was used originally because uh, you could use like a natural fibre um, core um, with those and what we used to do many years back is we would, um, we would soak the, the core in, in lubricant and then when the rope is in actually ap application, the core is sort of the reservoir for the lubricant, so it'd sort of be self-lubricating um, in that sense. But nowadays we've sort of moved more towards um, IWRC's uh, steel cores, where we're looking for, for improvements with those. Yeah, so, so the, uh, we, we, we've, we've moved away essentially because of the weakness of fibre and, and, and steel core brings something different? Yeah, generally I would say sort of 90 to 95% of ropes now have got steel cores in them. Because cranes and winches have become more and more advanced, we're looking for longer rope lengths. Um, we can't go with single layer drums um, on those systems because the drums would just be, just be too wide. So we've had to in, um, develop into multi-layer spooling systems where the rope actually spools back on, t on top of itself and we could be getting sort of layers of, of 7 to 10 or even more in some of these applications. So by using a fibre cord rope, we would have crushing issues. There, there isn't uh, the, the strength within the, the, or the radial stiffness, if you want to say that, of the, of the rope. So we'd end up with the, with the bottom layers crushing. So by replacing the, uh, the fibre core with, with steel, we're getting a, a crush, more crush resistant rope. Plus we're starting to get better strength as well. So we can increase the strength of a rope by taking away the fibre, replacing that with steel. We've got greater steel area within the rope, so we get greater strength as well. That's, that's great, thank you, Owen. It, I mean, it sounds to me like fibre cord rope is, is, is sort of old technology. Is, is there still any, any purpose for it in the market at the moment? Yeah, there is, there is still purpose. I mean, you'll still see fibre cord um, wire rope slings. So where you're looking to wrap a sling around something that's got a really small um, diameter, uh, a fibre core is perfect for that. Um, it's nice and flexible and, and bends around there. The other thing is, if, is I mentioned earlier, the, the weight difference. If we're looking for um, significant weight difference, particularly within the mine industry, we use fibre core um, ropes a lot. We, we would use that because the steel um, weight would be, would be too much. So we use the, use the fibre core for those uh, um, applications. And I, I guess the other question is, I mean, from the outside, I guess a rope looks fairly similar, but is there any way of telling whether your rope is fibre cord or, or, or steel cord specifically? Yeah, there's, I would say there's two different ways that you could do that. Ideally, if you can see the end of the rope, as you can with these, uh, these two pictures here, you can look at the end and you can see that you've got a, a fibre core on the, on the left-hand side or you've got a steel core on, on this one. The other way would be go, to go back to your test certificate. Your test certificate or certificate of conformity would, uh, would give you that information. So there's usually a, um, a section on the, on the certificate that will tell you about the diameter of the rope. So for example, 30 millimetre, it'll tell you how many strands you've got, uh, the number of wires in the, in the rope. Then after that, you're going to have the bit about the, the core. Well, you'll have a, a series of letters which will tell you what the core is. So example here, you've got um, NFC, which is, a, which is a natural fibre core. You've got SFC, which could be a, a synthetic fibre core. You've got an FFC, which is a fibre film core as well. Um, so they're the sort of type of fibre cores you would have. Moving on to this example, you've got your, either your IWRC, independent wire rope core, or um, extruded plastic IWRC, which is showing this, uh, this bright star core here around there. So, yeah, looking at the end section or looking on the certificate would be how I would uh, uh, tell what the core is of a rope. That's great. Thank you very much for explaining that, Owen.
I think that covers everything off that we needed to say about fibre core versus um, wire core. If you want any more information, uh, again, we have a bulletin available uh, that hopefully covers off the, uh, the details that we've covered here today. If you have specific questions for our applications team, both the bulletin and uh, access to our applications team uh, can be found through the email address on the screen at this moment in time. I hope you found this uh, short session informative and useful to you. As I say, if you need anything else from us, please reach out. Thank you.